Hi everybody, I'm Manorama and this is Sanskrit Studies and Luminous Soul Corner and I want to welcome you all here today. Today we're talking about the Sanskrit word of the week and the word this week is Chitta. Can you say that? So what you want to do is there's the fourth mouth position T but it's doubled and in Sanskrit when you have a doubling of the same consonant that means you have to fall heavy on the preceding vowel even if it's short and you hold for a half beat on that double consonant. So you don't say Chitta right? You say chitta. Try that. Chitta. Good. Remember fourth mouth position T. Chitta. Chitta. Very good. Okay, so what is chitta? Well, chitta is, um, it's called mind stuff. So I remember when I was first studying with my teacher, I was like, what's mind stuff? I barely knew what the mind was, let alone mind stuff. And the way it was described to me is, Mind, ego, and superego, and their union. So what is chitta or chittam? Sometimes you'll hear it with the M on it. Chitta or chittam is the mind, the ego, and the superego. It's the rise and the fall of how the thinking mind, the ego, and the superego rise and fall together. And so what you want to do as you're trying to grow your capacity, grow your understanding of chitta, and of course many sutras that, inc that incorporate this concept and teachings that incorporate this, what I want you to do is start to pay attention to the thoughts as they rise on the field of consciousness and then watch them rather than uh, go into them, just watch them and then they will the, it is the, when we identify, when we move into the thoughts, we actually give them the fuel that they need to continue, right? But if we withdraw our attention and we simply watch, then we remove the fuel and we, what ends up happening is chitta or chittam is revealed to us. Then you can see the movement of the chittam. So this week I want you to practice watching your thoughts and watch the movement of the chittam in your life. Okay, but remember, chittam is the union between the mind, ego, and superego, but let's start somewhere, right? Let's start with the first piece. So we'll start with that mind piece, and then we can do other explorations, okay? So I want you to practice this. This is your exercise this week, and you can work with this word, chitta. Um, that's it, everybody. I wish you a blessed week. I send you all my love, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in class again soon. Remember, everybody, you are beautiful, you are powerful, and you are free. You are a luminous soul. Be blessed, everybody.